Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Truth and at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're uh, still in uh, hell, uh, actually quite literal hell, uh, Hellheim, and it's apparently a frozen, well, hellhole. And uh, there's the gatekeeper, the guy we need to kill. We need to seal his heart, and it appears that, yeah, it's quite visible from over here, even. And for some reason, there's also a giant bird over there. Don't know what that is all about, but that's dropped down. And I'll guess we'll need to defeat the bridge keeper. So yeah, bridge keeper, not gatekeeper. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna take the axe for a second. And take out some pots. Don't wanna, don't wanna start a fight without taking out some pots. Because those, of course, contain the health stones. Let's get the swords ready. And I don't know if he's gonna attack me on sight or not. Hello, sir. Sir? Oh god. Oh, don't throw. Oh, don't throw that at me, please. Yeah, and um, the gate is closed. That kind of looks like the pillar we've been seeing. Oh, wow. Oh, holy shit, this guy can teleport. Not fair. Not fair. What are those things? Don't hit, don't hit the orbs. Where is he? I think, yeah, that's a magma shield. That's one of my abilities from the armor. That's not gonna hit me. That is. That is. I think I'm pretty safe. Oh no, they're coming towards me. This will of the wisps are really coming for you. Oh god. Okay, buddy. It looks like I can still hit him, but. And it looks like this guy is actually the son of hell. Machuku Nels Helson. So, son of hell, Helson. Yeah, hello, sir. The Mr. Helson. Okay, there we go. Bit of a combo. What does that mean? Yeah, that's not even getting close, but I'm getting close. Oh. Okay. So there's projectiles incoming. Can I throw that thing? I think I could throw that thing, right? Yep, okay, rip them apart. Fair enough. Oh, fuck. And thralls. Okay, so they're gone now, but I'm just gonna grab a few health stones. Because it seems like this pulling kind of functions like a shotgun. Okay, where do you go? There he goes. Shock waves. There he is. Oh, 
Don't know where the gatekeeper went. The bridge keeper went. There he is. Holy shit. That might be no. There he is. Ow. I don't know where that came from. Okay, hi. Crap. Where the hell did he go? There he is. Okay. Okay. There we go. And then behind it. Come on, on your knees, buddy. On your knees. Yeah, I think I can grab him now. There we go. In the face. Goodbye, Mr. Bridgekeeper. Stab. Rip open the skull. And crush. Oh. Um. Um. Do I need to press anything? Ooh. Wow. Okay. Goodbye. Mr. Bridgekeeper, I think we just needed the heart, but no, the heart. Fair enough. We took his uh, to eyes. Get your hands dirty. I don't think he cares at this point. Oh, look at my gear just on fire. I love my outfit right now, with the shiny traveler armor, chest piece, and everything else just blazing. And let's get carving. This almost feels like Far Cry. Let's just carve a bit. Ooh, didn't expect that much blood from something that looks so solid. Yeah. Open heart surgery. Here we go. Ah, there we go. How how relaxing this is. Just watching Kratos stare apart. Uh, the bridge keeper's chest there. Was it that deep, really? You could see it on the surface. Why the hell was that so deep? Oh, what is that bird gonna do, by the way? Or is that just window dressing? So, if there is no bridge keeper, are the dead just free to go in? Because he seemed important. I have the heart. I need nothing more. You're set. Try not to linger here, though, eh? Um, I feel like the oh. Kratos. Helheim Zeus. 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 Dad. My father. Your father was Zeus. Well, that explains a lot. What the oh. fuck is going what is on? What is that place? Never go there. Understand. Was that really Zeus, or was that just another hallucination? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Just Hell's an known illusion. For torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus oh, yeah. on getting back to your son. So, uh, a Chaos Flame is used to upgrade my Blades of uh, Chaos, which is good. Bunch of bolts. Just as a relaxing way to blow off some steam after a tough fight. The game told us not to go this way, but can we actually go this way? I'm, I'm just gonna try. I know I died in the uh, in-between stuff, but... Okay. Doesn't seem like I can go anywhere. There's apparently more than one bridge. And there's a lot of dead people on them. But why was there only a one bridge keeper then, or maybe there's a bridge keeper on every bridge. Best not to linger on stuff like that, so let's carry on. And I think that the heart actually gave us the power to open up those fancy locks, because I can see one over there. But are there any more health stones in the vicinity? Doesn't seem like it, so we'll have to do... Oh, there we go. One more pot. And two more health stones. There we go. Almost full health. What's this? 
Yeah. Shh. Oh, what the hell? He's supposed to be here. Hi, Brooke. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Ooh. Magic upgrade to the blades. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he'd make those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Oh. Okay. Winds of hell energy. Winds of hell are very unstable and can only be held for 10 seconds before returning to the last wind trap. Now target that wind trap with your blades. It's that little ball hanging in the middle of the door there. See it? Just let her loose. <laughs> Winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. Ooh. So you're welcome and I'm leader. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. That is cool. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. <laughs> Says the guy without no body. Says the guy without a body if there's something wrong with Brock's brain. Captured and transferred the winds of hell power. The winds of hell to these power devices. Okay. Fair enough. So that means I just. Capture the power, and that actually locks the other one. And now we open up this one. Great, seems simple enough. Let's head, uh, let's get back out of hell, right? Because we've been here long enough. Uh, there we go. Oh, of course. And now I can't use the Atreus. Ooh, that was cool. Goodbye. Actually, send that Hellwalker just flying off the edge. Okay. There is. Can I just. Wait, there's a chest here. Hmm. Might be something else there. Let's capture that. Let's go in here. Open that up. And we get a few more Hellwalkers. Oh, and the Blades of Chaos are way better at juggling. Boom! I love these things. I still love these things. So, I think... Yeah, we can open that from the back. So if I just... Ooh. Oh. If I... Nope, 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 nope. So I need to somehow... Maybe I need to capture it, put it in the next... Door. No, but I can't capture it. So I can't open this up because I need Atreus' stuff. The lightning arrows. So this is not the way forward. Uh, there's one on the other side as well, but... I mean, since I don't have the electric arrows, I'm not going to go back. You know what? Since we're going to have to return here anyway, I'm just going to hurry out. Just hurry, hurry out. Because this, this looks like... Sorry, uh, brother. I'm still stuck in what I had back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence then. Yeah, because... It's weird, right? That... Nobody knows anything about Kratos, but he still managed to get out of there somehow. Um, 10 seconds. Is that going to be enough to just return? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Let's, let's go back. But hey, what's interesting is that that ogre was apparently the son of Hal. Who is called Madgur, 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 Odinson? Um, hello. Oh. Uh. There we go. Gate open. So some of them have unlimited hell, hell wind energy. The dead are still waiting for us, and the camera angle is pointed upwards. Weirdly enough. Or is this just to show us how many... Oh, there's a traveler. Oh, 
I don't care about you anymore, buddy. Boom. I could just hit him from afar. And then there we go. Traveling really down. And that gets us the deadly war handles. Low perk activation chance to grant a gift of strength on any successful kill. The thing that's actually worse than... Yeah. It's a bit better stat-wise, but anything else is... I mean, I like the aura of fire. We saw that a few times. The magma shield. No, the magma shield is something else. The aura of fire, I like that I have now uh, the double activation chance for that. Hmm. So there's these things all around. What can I do with these? Because I think if that one is still unlimited health power... No, it's not. It is not, but I can... Pull the wind power out of the door. And put it in here. Oh, and there's one on the left there as well. Let's carry that with us. That's gonna close the gate again, I suppose. Or not. Gate stays open. Great. Let's open up our chest. Is that gonna be another uh, runic attack? Maybe a heavy one? No. Soldus Fartalfheim steel and a symbol of shadows. I want that back. Because there is another one right here at the back. Don't know what that does, actually. Because I've turned those on, but maybe it's just to comfort the dead. Don't think that actually does anything for now. Well, there's nightmares. Come on, buddies. A god damn midgets. He's firing up something. Damn you, buddy. And there we go. Hmm. So, we keep getting those things. Or maybe... Ah, wait, wait, wait. I get it, I get it. Those pedestals are just there for me to transfer energy from one place to the next. If I just get a little bit closer, maybe a little bit more back. The further I am, the less far I need to go. So that's one. If I just run all the way to the statue over there, I should be able to put it in the shield. There we go. So hell is weird right how it doesn't really make much sense because there's like all these bridges but only one access point so where do the do the dead just appear here or do they get transferred there's a chest up there as well seems as easy as that but i don't know where to oh oh that might that might the back of the statue over there on the right still don't know what that actually does for me because I keep transferring it from one to the next, but... And we're from the parts. I zombie one, and that gets these juggled. Fair enough, okay. Then, aside from a lot of food, there's another one over there. So there's another bit over there, which might be able to get that transferred. Oh, and there's a raven. 
sitting on top of another one. So let's just transfer all of that again. Oh. Crap. All will fall, which means I killed my 1,000th enemy. I was wondering where that trophy was, uh, when that was gonna pop, but apparently that was it. So, this better be fucking worth it, because it's getting, uh, getting out of hand a bit. It's a bit of a hassle. The last one is really, really far away. Four, three, two, one. I think I got it just in time. Holy crap, that was close. Apparently I only needed one bit of Hellwind energy, but uh, there we go. That gets us our first... No, it's another Light Runic attack. Oh, the Cyclone of Chaos. I know what that is. That is... Yep, indeed. That's the one from the main game. That was really cool. So L1 and Circle normally, but uh, this is going to be L1 and R1, Cyclone of Chaos. Yeah, that sounds exactly what I want to do. Although, you know, the Spartan Charge actually does a lot more damage. One burn and one stun extra, one stun or and one damage extra. You know what, let's just try out the, um, the Cyclone. Am I actually going to upgrade it as well to add a bit more stun damage to it? There we go. Oh, you want me to try that out immediately? There we go. And I get this guy stunned immediately. I think that actually explodes him. Doesn't seem to do that much damage indeed, so I might actually just go back to the Spartan Charge in a minute. Because the, the charge did a lot of damage, especially against the boss. Um, so might want to go back to that. But let's get out of hell. Because uh, I'm sad they didn't do anything with the bird. I was expecting something to happen with the bird. Better get home to your boy already. This is weird. He told us just a minute ago that his equipment was in Midgard, but apparently it clearly is not. Let's upgrade the Blades of Chaos, by the way. Don't worry. Kid. There we go. They look a bit different now, and they're uh, level two. By the way, but just getting the Blades of Chaos, we built to level six now, uh, character-wise, which is uh, great. But I feel like things are going a bit too we easy. Delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But I feel like something's going to change. Because when we were sailing away, well, just paddling away, um, I felt like, no, not, not even a feeling, Thor, somebody no, called the serpent. I finally understand. And there was a storm raging. I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta. So you no, do know him. Me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Do you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. Okay. Yeah, so... Mimir clearly knows the ghost of Sparta, because that's what they call the Kratos. Well, kind of obvious, I think, why they call him that. Because, you know, he's white. He's covered in the ashes of his dead wife and child. Um, so yeah, bit of a grim story, that one. But uh, let's see what happens here, because we haven't been back to the lake since we hey, uh, found the blades. Realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. Aha, uh -huh, finally. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Aha, uh -huh, but... No, 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 no. You're not going to trick me into this. I want to check outside. Oh, boo. Boo, I can't even check outside. Something changed outside. There was a storm raging. Somebody called the serpent. Stuff has changed. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. 
Just go, brother. Yeah, that doesn't sound too uh, too confident. Let's get to Freya. It's actually the only thing we can probably fast travel to. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Here we go. So more conversation, I guess. Hello. No, Mimir, nothing to say. I was expecting something at least. But hey, guess I'll have to uh, fill the void by just cutting this travel. But you know what? No. Um, so by now, yeah, it's clear we saw Zeus. So Zeus is Kratos' father, which makes him a demigod. And by all accounts, it makes Atreus a demigod as well. But because he doesn't know he's a demigod, and he feels that his father hates all the gods, including him, it makes him sick. Kind of weird, but must be something uh, messing with his head because of yeah his clashing identity. But uh, yeah, because Kratos actually raised Atreus to also hate the gods because he told him that multiple times. But Atreus must kind of feel the power inside of him and that just makes him really, really conflicted. But no more talking. Let's get uh, to Freya. Well, this isn't right. No. Yeah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. Yeah, where is that portal normally? It's probably in front of the front door, but the house is down, which means she must have protected it for some reason. Oh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Oh no, she's still there. She's still there. Never mind. The heart. You have it. Yes. Are we gonna get Atreus back? We only lost him for two episodes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. Yeah, obviously that was the reason why you needed the, the heart. But to heal. He must know the truth of what he is. Ah, he's yes. not gonna like that. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. And so she made him no immortal. Sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. <laughs> there he is. Don't leave without me. Of course I not. not. <sighs> I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? Come For on, now. Kratos. It won't happen again. It's I not, promise. <laughs> it's not your fault, the trace. It does not. Come on, Kratos. Her facial animations are amazing, by the way. You could see how she felt about everything. Just from her face. Ah, yeah. Guess we'll have to uh, yeah. deal with that. I will not forget this. What the hell is? Oh. Thanks. Oh. Wow. You should stay. Recover. You have done enough. 
Um, guys? You know my door is always open to you. Has anyone checked out the window? Kind of looks like everything is dead. Like That's the tr on, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And ah. then know what's on the other side of the wall. Oh. Well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a view. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Okay, because she can't go back, she can't explain herself um, to everybody else. So I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. You do? Golden boar, giant turtle. You sure have some interesting friends. What? Well, she doesn't really, because we fought Trogger right outside the door. Um, so where do we need to leave? Because I don't think this will be open, right? This is not going to be the way out now because the turtle is down. So the front door is just against the wall somewhere. Can we actually talk to her again or not? No, we can't even access, access the area she's in. Probably to protect her animations a bit. But let's head out. There we go. And we got Atreus back. But Kratos, you really need to tell him, boy. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. I think Atreus knows more than we think he knows. I'm thinking he already knows. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a magical lock over here, isn't there? Yeah. But there's only one of these things. Pull the wind. Isn't Atreus going to wonder what we're using right now, by the way? There we go. That highlights that. And then we need to check out the next one. Oh, I can't reach that. No bullshit. I don't think anything can get through all that hell bramble. There we go. Our first mention of Atreus about uh, stuff like that. Okay, so there's one over here as well. You know what? While we're here, we might as well open up the magical lock here. So let's just find the blind spot and hit it there we go open that up and that leads us to a... another area so that's one of the hidden chambers so i'm supposing this will house a valkyrie hidden chamber of odin seems the same as before but might as well get the uh, fast travel point while we're here because i think the other one also housed a bit of a fast travel point anything here doesn't seem like it and let's hope there's a portal because otherwise I'm doing this for no reason at all and that should house another Valkyrie right our third one of the game this is a slow ass elevator by the way it's a big one of course and, and this time I would suppose it's a bit uh, difficult yeah this definitely looks like another uh, Valkyrie arena. I'm not going to do that in this episode, obviously, because we're uh, actually at the end of the episode. So, um, with this activated, I'm going to take a little break. Not sure if I should do this one already. We might as well. Uh, we'll see what the level is uh, in the next episode. 
and uh, whether we should be it or not. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, I think we might actually give the uh, Valkyrie a little shot if uh, she's not too overpowered. So thank you guys again enormously for watching and I hope to see you guys next time on God of War. Goodbye.